I'm David Owen. It's time for the Honey Hole Insider. Well, September's here and fishing season technically kind of slowing down, but not really. It's fishing's good all year long. Brim fishing is starting to slow down a little bit, but you can still go get, catch a mess of brim on most of the area waters. We had some unu unusual high water for this time of year. We don't get any high water this time of year usually, but we had it. Most of it's gone back down and it's getting back, everything getting back in its banks. Starbone Bayou's getting closer to normal stages and you can get back, but still high enough you can get back in some of those sloughs. So that's a good way to catch some white perch. You catch it back in the sloughs. Uh, Darbone Lake's back, back to normal. Uh, heard some tales of white perch fishing in the flats up there. Deeper sloughs right off the flats. You catch some white perch. Uh, bass fishing's been good most places. You can look for bass schooling this time of year, and if you can get on them, that's a lot of fun. Catch a lot of good eaters anyway. Uh, so look for bass bass schooling on Darbone, Caney, places like that. White perch fishing's been all right on Beth River as well. So you can find different places, different kinds of fishing. Catfish, go out there, Poverty Point, Darbone on the flats, you can catch them there too. Hey, if you're gonna go bass fishing, think about fall, it's time for fish to start stacking up. When they start stacking up, a good way is to get some lighter tackle and kind of downsize, you can go Come to the honey hole, we got a bunch of Abu Garcias. This is a Zato combo, great for that. And then a flatworm, Berkeley flatworm, just got a bunch of them in. Hey, come by the honey hole and come see us. We'll rig you up for some fall fishing. Thanks.